<laughs> so all right, boys, before we get into the pod, okay. if you guys like to fire on sports, like Aiden you Ross your- was on. Aiden Ross, for those of you who do not know, friend of the show, Aiden Ross, was on uh, the Nelk Boys <laughs> podcast where he revealed his real relationship with Andrew Tate and I Show Speed Crashes the Pod. This is basically, uh, you know, Zoomer heaven here, okay? We have all the Zoomer greats together. They're getting together. They're, uh, they're, they're having fun. And we have another friend of the show here, Bradley Martin, who is, uh, you know, Bradley. co-hosting it. And there's a really good part of the podcast that uh, we already covered on the uh, on Fear and, yeah, as a matter though, of fact. Right? But yeah, we'll, we'll rewatch it, yeah. Yo, um, yeah. love Bradley, hate Aiden, right? No, I, 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 I look, I have pound a soft spot. I have, a, I have a soft spot on Aiden. Well, I mean, I'll pound you have it. A, you have a, you have a soft spot for I, idiots. I, I do, yes. Yeah. So real quick, the baldness has nothing to do with the Tate bet or deal. Thank so you. I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. The Tate, Tate putting it into my head, the, my, you know, my mental that like, hey, like uh, he, he made me really believe like, you know, you need to be the best version of yourself. You have so many people who watch you on a daily basis. Like that's such basic. Advice, and it's not even bad advice. You can't deny that, right? It's like if you you have a responsibility as a content creator to your audience to like present your best, uh, you know, present yourself in a way that is is you know good, right? And self improvement is a good thing. If you are engaging in self improvement, then your audience will be also motivated to uh, all those kids that look up to you will also be motivated to improve themselves. Yeah. This is something I do all. Time. This is something I believe in myself personally. Okay, so I do not disagree with that take. It's just that, like, going bald for it is kind of stupid. And not only that, but also like the guy saying it also has a bunch of other ways that he presents himself that I don't think is a good way to How present about yourself. Donate money to uh, gambling addiction. That'd be awesome. Yeah, uh, or I mean that you're you're right about that. Or no. or like you know don't uh, present yourself as like a misogynist trafficker for clout yes, which is like yes and it is clout like i saw that that photo on twitter oh is this new yeah new new information has come out uh here's some romanian news okay this is like literally oh, uh no new way. information emerged from the case in which millionaire brothers andrew and tristan tate were arrested for human trafficking the two influencers out there have forced their victims to tattoo themselves with their names and the security employees would have always stood with their guns in sight in order shit. to intimidate the women. In transcripts, Andrew Tate tells how he used women to launder money. Jesus. The news about the arrested Tate brothers also reached Afghanistan, and the <laughs> Taliban are demanding <laughs> his the release. Best. Tate brothers' victims told prosecutors that, I mean, this is cult. Like, this is straight up grooming, manipulation, straight up cult. Like, Col- you, you see this in implies, cults all the time. I mean, cult no, implies they're willing participants. No, Nixium did this exact same thing. They it was were a, willing. also a they sex were cult. Willing, to no, a point. They, no, but it doesn't matter because after a certain point, the manipulation is so thick that, like, it, it, even if you, like, I, my, willingly join the cult, you're still getting in the next CM sex cult. I agree, but I don't think these women are... I think these women are not wanting... They want, they're being capped, like, they're prisoners, you know what I mean? Prosecutors obtained wiretaps in which Andrew Tate recounts how he broke the law and took advantage of women. <laughs> Andrew Tate, you're not stupid, and you can probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I'm really doing. Whoa. Webcam. I've been doing this for a long time with a theme, team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. What? Some of the girls who worked for me, I used them to do other things, to move money on or, or illegal things, documents. I will never what? do that with you. The humiliation of the victims did not stop there. This mother literally got Wait, wiretapped what? and he just admitted everything. I Holy love how- I love, dude, this investigation was going on for a long time. The fact that they had him wired. Nine months, says yeah. It all. So, like, people act like it's this big conspiracy. These, he is so, like, you cannot. These people will have no plausible deniability. I mean, you, you know what's crazy? I, I called this element as well, by the way. On Leftovers, uh, remember when we were talking about this shit? Like, you and I were literally saying, like. Wait, what? Here, this is the Leftovers. That's the other flip side of massive listen, corruption. Listen, listen. Yeah. I think his narcissism will be his downfall. Um, his constant need to be in front of the camera and be like the main guy to put a face to all the operations that are happening behind the scenes. Right. Um, you know, uh, openly talking about his ownership on uh, multiple casinos in Romania mm. that are. Dude, look how much skinnier you are. I was thinking that too. I look fat. Look, look how much skinnier you are now, what was Jesus the date Christ. On that this was months ago. literally working that are not even uh you know successful financially mm. and keeping them open keeping them running uh, running exclusively to like uh over other casinos in the neighborhood like mm. you can't do that unless you got you know some big financiers some some big backers and casinos are a great way to launder money obviously there's a lot of cash that uh you oh, know right. is is being traded in that uh, on the floor there 
So I think a lot of what you're saying is you know, right on. He he's so public and he's so into being this guy. Like the whole hustler university thing. Like you didn't even need to do that. Like you didn't need to be a, a public figure. You know what I mean? But anyway, the humiliation of the victims did not stop there. Investigators have obtained shocking statements from women who were allegedly recruited by the Tate brothers. They told that they were forced to get tattoos of the message owned by Tate, meaning Tate's property. The Tate brothers. Lawyers says, however, that the women that got the tattoos on their own initiative. Eon Gliga, the lawyer of the Tate brothers, I would understand this gesture made by the respected persons as a gesture intended to make themselves a pleas as pleasant as possible by the Tate brothers at, and at no time was a question of conditioning or coercion to make such a gesture, and it was out of their free will. Forensic psychologist Gabriella Groza says, human traffickers are people uh, who have more pronounced psychopathic traits. They don't feel remorse. They don't feel regret. They either flee, uh, blame the victims, discard them, or place the responsibility elsewhere. Andrew Tate has become one of the most famous people on the internet. Before he was arrested, he was making the rounds on shows and podcasts and often talked about how satisfied he is with the corruption <laughs> in Romania, yeah. which is true. The Tate brothers' attorneys say that all of the DIICOT allegations are false and that the victims allegedly produce pornographic material to make money for them. By the way, I love that thing. Being a cam girl is basically like the most uh, self-supportive. You don't need a third party to be yeah, a cam girl. Yeah, but but there are a lot of there are a lot of like uh, services, like managerial services that uh, exploit even OnlyFans girls as well. Even though you're right, it's like literally the most like you can gain the most le don't, the highest level of autonomy. Yeah, don't give anyone a cut of your shit, bro. Yeah. Especially when you're the product. Read this. This is this is really this good. This case is literally... Well, here's what the Romanian authorities are saying about Andrew Tate. This case is literally nothing to do with his online presence or with Greta Thunberg. <coughs> Him and his brothers were detained by DIICOT, which is an anti-terrorist law enforcement agency that uh, investigates organized crime. Where is this from? Apparently, it's a translation from a Romanian press release. Okay. Well, they, Charges are trafficking involvement, organized crime, and assault. That's true. The uh, DICOT have proved that Tates were holding at least six women hostage against their will, four Romanian, one Moldovan, one from the U.S., and they were forcing them to produce pornographic content against their will. That's also true. They were using the lover boy method. We talked about that. At least one of them accused Tate with um, two women were helping them recruit and, ab uh, wait, what is this? Ab abuse, abuse. Abusing these girls, and both were arrested on the same night. That's also true. One of them was a cop. Yeah, there was a police that uh, Andrew Tate was also, a police, a female police officer that Andrew Tate was also working with uh, simultaneously. He probably thought he was untouchable, but. Yeah, that's uh, that's part of the reason why I think he like thought he was untouchable, because also, if you are working with a Romanian mob, like, you kind of do have a degree of, of protection, I would say, he, from the law. He, he, he brought way too much <coughs> heat, right? Yeah. He, he, he attracted the big fish. Yeah, I a, think that's what I... enforcement that, like, the mob can't get around. Exactly. It was a former cop, yes. She was a, a cop and then, uh, I think, like, was recently a former uh, cop. Crazy. Uh, their lawyer tried to contest their arrest twice, but was rejected both times. Dicot says they're facing at least 15 years of prison time. So yeah, this has nothing to do with the woke left trying to censor him or the matrix. It was a serious mm -hmm. crime investigation. Additionally, Dicot has released footage from the raid. We saw this. See their car collection. We saw this as well, uh, which will be used to pay the expenses for the investigation and the operation. That's awesome. And reimburse the victims. More info on Tate accomplices. Oh, oh, oh what? I had not seen this yeah, before. They this like is new. them out. His girlfriend and ex-cop accomplice. All dead back there. Yeah, this is the ex-cop. Yeah. So the thing I was going to say is, uh, and this is not charitability, it's objectively up to do this and not actually even like conduct additional research into the matter before you decide to dick ride a person who is currently in jail for trafficking. Okay. However, having said that, I think part of it, and we need to understand how misinformation works. We need to understand how biases work. Part of the reason why uh, Aiden Ross and many, you know, millions of kids online don't even uh they, they continue uh, maliciously riding andrew tate is because one partially because you know they are also this is a byproduct of uh, the patriarchy they also like andrew tate for his misogynistic violent misogynistic perspectives okay but the other part of it is they don't even see this information this information does not reach them okay when this information reaches in front of them whether it be whether it be a clip that you clipped from this stream and put it on tiktok and it actually ended up uh you know uh, getting in front of them they are already geared by a million different eco, uh, a million different echo chamber uh articles that actually say the exact opposite i and people like myself who cover andrew tate are seen as villains already we are not a part of the in-group. We are a part of the out-group. No matter what amount of evidence I can present in this regard, most people are not even like conditioned into looking at this in a charitable way. They just see it and go, oh, you're just like a gay, soy face, uh, uh, homosexual who hates Andrew Tate because you don't have a Bugatti and you're a brokey. Because you don't. Yeah. And that is literally what it is. It's like there's these echo chambers that are 
pumping all of this information into willing participants who already have the cognitive bias, who are already geared into believing Andrew Tate's like infallibility and innocence, partially because they like that he is a rampant, violent misogynist. You know what I mean? They will literally, they will literally never like. They, they don't even see it. They don't even see this shit. You're right. They will they never see this shit. Yeah, no matter how much I cover it. Um, sure. I don't know. I mean, you're right. I know, I know you're right, but. I feel like they got to know. You know what I mean? They got to know that this dude did it. Like that somewhere in the back of their mind, I feel like they're afraid of their audience and they got to know that there's a good chance he did all that. Yeah. Andrew Tate has been pictured occasion in the back of a police van alongside his angels after their arrest as part of the probe. The influencer 36 was seen behind bars as, as he was escorted to the Romanian detention center on Thursday evening after the surprise raid of a 600,000 uh, pound concrete bolt hole on the outskirts of Bucharest. Pictured alongside the millionaire in the van were Luana Radu and Georgiana Nagel, who are accused of luring women to the compound and then coercing and controlling them to create social media pornography. The images taken by the local news site Gondol show Tate dressed in a black hoodie on the one side of the van next to Nagel, his alleged girlfriend of one year, who in turn was sat next to Radu, a former policewoman. There it is. Radu was previously based at a police station in central Bucharest, but quit the force eight years ago. Oh, I was wrong. I, I thought she like quit recently uh, to pursue a career working in video chat rooms, which attract men from all around the world and have become a lucrative industry in Romania. Nagel 28, who is a U.S. citizen, is described as a businesswoman and an influencer who is believed to be dating Tate for almost a year. The group, along with oh. T uh, Tate's brother Tristan, have been locked up since Thursday after a court agreed to extend their detention by 30 days. The brothers have been organizing their own New Year's Eve party in a 48-room mansion they own in the mountain village of Kumarnik before their Love sudden that. arrest. Tate bought the stunning century-old property 80 miles north of Bucharest, which features an underground car park, a swimming pool a year ago. <sighs> this is crazy. Real evil. That's his girl? That's his, like, uh, it's your girl. It's your girl. It's your girl. This is his new digs. Oh, that's nice. He got a. I like. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let's. See, I mean, he's dude, got a radiator. That, that's like. That's like unacceptable, dude. That's a like crime against humanity. Having to shit in that. Oh people god. In, that's how people in Asia shit. Like I, that's. That's, that's, that's how fair. I shat too when I was younger in Turkey. That's it just sucks. the way it goes. It's a human rights violation. I've never shit like that. It's. it's trust me. I, you don't want I, to. I went to Thailand, and whenever I saw a you know like that, I held it. But <laughs> clearly, it's very fat phobic to have toilets like that, brother. Because a fatty I'm telling ain't you, no way they I'm telling you, that. every time I see one of these things, I get PTSD don't from my miss? childhood. Don't you? No, I do not. No, but somebody got to miss the hole and shit all over. And I head. hate when f dummies are like, oh, 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 I don't miss it. And you mean, don't someone, Somebody's doesn't someone miss the pooper? Yeah. Uh, probably. I don't know. But also, how much more cost is it to add a seat? You know what I mean? Like, it's probably much more costly. I think so. Oh, yeah. She's awesome. Shooting a gun. She's cool. She's like one of the guys. Love she it. hasn't been posting at all recently. I wonder why. So bring in the noise. Oh, baby, we bring in our toys. Oh, yeah. This is his Bugatti. Wait, is she driving the Bugatti? I mean, if he's if he's her main top girl. Yeah. Top groomer.